Year 11s. This is... I want to say unprecedented, but I bet you've heard that word so many times that you're sick of it, and I'm sick of it. And I can't believe that this has happened, and that I'm having to make this video. Um, but your GCSE grades are going to be based on teacher judgment. And that is going to be a combination of things, and that combination of things hasn't actually been released yet, unless the exam boards have put out a press statement while I've been recording this video, which if they have... I'll make another video for you but at the moment it is based on teacher judgment and the exact details of that haven't been released. It is probably going to be a combination of your mock grades, how well you've been working in class, um, predicted grades and other data. So I know a lot of you are wondering should I still be revising and that your teachers are saying you, they need to have evidence and proof. At the moment I've got nothing to, to say to your teachers that no, this isn't happening because until the exam boards tell us how they are going to be making those judgments or how your teachers are going to be making those judgments, I don't know what to do. So the short answer to the question of should you still be revising is I don't know, which I know isn't very helpful, but you know, you've got nothing else to do for the next few months, so maybe. Um, there is going to be, um, the data for the exam grades is going to be a similar pattern to other years, which means not everyone in the country is all of a sudden going to become geniuses and everyone's going to get nines. There are still going to be people that are going to get a three and their GCSE maths, no matter how much they are their teacher's favourite students. There is going to be, well, you know, a normal distribution of data. Um, it is going to look the same as other years, so teachers can't game the system to make all of our students look better um but again the exact basis of this hasn't been announced now i know for some of you um getting your predicted grades getting your mock grades is going to be really, really good news and for some of you is going to be really really bad news so i'm going to take those two situations separately what if you are really, really happy, what you should be doing now? And then what if you are not really, really happy, what you should be doing now? So these grades are gonna come out by the end, before the end of July. Um, and if you are happy with those grades, that then gives you five months of nothing to do. Potentially five months of sitting around the house, being locked in the house with no cinemas open, no shops open, no anything for you to do. Um, stuck inside the house with whoever is in the house with you and you may like these people, you may not like these people, you may have a lot of space, you may have your own bedroom, you may share a bedroom with several siblings. Um, it is going to be a tough time for you so please do not think this is just going to be um, a five month holiday before you start sixth form or apprenticeships or whatever you've got planned for September. Um, there are lots and lots of things that you need to be doing. Um, the number one thing I suggest you do is read books. Over my website I have reading lists of suggested books. Um, so if you're interested in biology then go and pick a book off there and then if you buy it through Amazon I get like a few pence for the affiliate link which would be appreciated since there is no exam period basically my entire earnings for the year have been wiped out um, because if there's no exams, so nobody does any origin, which means nobody watches my videos. Um, I'll put a little graph in here so you can see how much the spikes go up and down based on the exam period and how everyone ignores me for the rest of the year. It's really a bit sad. Anyway, you can start preparing for A-levels because you will have missed out the chunk at the end of year 11 because not all courses will have finished teaching yet and you will have missed out the, the revision that goes in. Um, and like I know that seems like a good thing, but revision for your GCSEs does prepare you for your A-levels because you're going over the content. And at A-level, it's not completely new content. It's content that builds upon the GCSE content. So you do need GCSEs as a solid foundation for A-level. So when you start year 12 in September, you will be a few paces back from every other year 12 class that has ever started ever before so you know don't forget everything um it always happens that when we get a new year 12 class i ask them you know draw a structure on that term first thing they do and they've forgotten it because they've had two months off you guys have going to have had 
five months off and you are going to forget lots and lots of things and Ada was going to be even more of a shock for you than they normally are for students and they normally are a big big shock so on my website I've got summer start courses so summer start for A-level maths is up there already I wasn't planning on telling anyone about it until September no I wasn't until August um on the day of your exam results but um it's up there ready um summer start for A-level chemistry will be up there as soon as I finish formatting it and then there will be um biology and maybe history and maybe law as well and because my total income stream for the year has been wiped out, everything, all the courses on my website are going to be 50% off. So it will be £5 for access to thousands of questions. Now, if you are signed up to my current website, this is a different website. This is a new website. This is a much, much better website um, that, you know, tracks um, what questions, like what you've got on each quiz. It will tell you the ones you've got wrong or the ones you've got right instead of just flashing up and disappearing. It will, you can actually go and sit there and go through stuff. So it is a better website. Um, if there, if you're doing an A-level that I don't have on the website, you can spend some time thinking about university. I know it's an incredibly long way off, but honestly, you've got a lot of time. So um, go and have a look at the, the playlist that I've got, which I will... I can't remember which side I put stuff to scroll up. Either one, either on one side, I think it's this side. Um, there will be a playlist for you to go and start thinking about universities. Start thinking about what you can do over and above your A levels to make you different from everyone else who has the exact same predicted grades as you. And the way to do this is, by the way, by reading books. Think about doing some MOOCs. These are massive open online courses. They are generally free. They can last for a month or two or three months. And these are a great thing to write in your UCAS personal statement. These are a great thing to, to keep you busy. You get a certificate at the end. They are interesting. They're generally taught by leading universities and you've got time to do it so go and do a course online um and then just try not to go completely insane get some exercise get out of bed don't spend five months sitting around the house in your pajamas because that is not going to be healthy for you um yes if you want to ask me a question uh twitter is the best place to get hold of me because i generally have that open um, at the moment I am uh, teaching a five-year-old how to write numbers because he's school shut. Um, so if I don't respond instantly it's because I'm busy trying to teach a five-year-old. Honestly I'd much rather be teaching animal maths online to the year 13s. Um, Anyway, that is what you should be doing if you are happy with your grades. If you are not happy with your grades, there is going to be an appeals process and there are going to be exams in September. Now, it is not 100% clear whether these are going to be for a limited number of subjects or whether these are going to be for all subjects. But exams in September if you are not happy with your grades. There are a number of unexplained problems with this the first one is going to be so who is going to pay for these exams um exams are not free to sit i know you as you relevant students generally don't pay for them but that's because the school has paid for them however if your school has given you a grade and you have left the school and gone to the college and you want to resit effectively in september it is unclear who is going to pay for that. Exams are generally between 35 and 50 pounds per paper, um, which means if you want to redo all of them, it is starting to get expensive. So it is not clear at the moment who is going to be paying for these or where they're going to be sat. If you change schools, um, if you maybe go to a sixth form college, they should because they're going to be set up doing exams anyway. Um, they should allow you to sit it there, um, but there is absolutely no guarantee that they will. If you are not happy with your grades, you're going to then need to be revising over the summer. Um, I've just told the year 10s that my current website is shutting down and I'm launching a new website, which is going to have much more comprehensive science and maths and citizenship is up there already and history is really quickly going up there already courses um whereas like the summer start courses there will be that every single thing like 25 questions and you can go and review your answers properly taking time afterwards it will tell you which ones you've already done 
and I have workbooks like thousands of questions for GCSE maths, um, GCSE science, all exam boards. Um, I've done loads of papers and my income stream for this year has been completely wiped out. So if there's no exam periods, nobody watches any videos and I don't make any money. Um, so everything's going to be 50% off because um, I need to pay my mortgage somehow. These are going to follow a similar pattern to other years. So if you know your predicted grade for maths is a three, if you know you've got a three in marks, and if you know you are going to be resitting in September, or um, I imagine they're still going to have the November resits. I don't see why they wouldn't have November resits. Um, but if you are fairly sure that you are going to be doing exams in September, then just keep revising. You obviously don't have to revise for everything. If you are going to be happy with your predicted grade in German and um, you have no interest in doing German A-level or ever doing any languages again, then you don't have to revise for that. But if it is something that you are fairly sure you're going to want to get a better grade in, then just keep revising for it. This is a brilliant time just to get good revision practices sorted so that you are ready for year um, 12 little and often. For the year 10s mainly and the year 12s, I'm going to be putting out kind of like daily little this is what you need to be doing. Um, so kind of like a video with a relevant quiz and a relevant worksheet and a relevant like exam question. So you could just do those. These are going to be for maths and science. If you're worried about your college courses, your college places, they are being asked to be considerate, but there is no guarantee. Now, if your college course, your college place is based on your predicted grades, hopefully the grades that you actually get given should be close to that. I really don't know. Um, they are being asked to be considerate, but there are no guarantees here. So you might find yourself in a position where the college has offered more places than it actually expected the students to get, and the college is suddenly oversubscribed. In that situation, I'm really sorry. You are either going to have to find somewhere else to go, or you're going to have to resit. Now, feeling angry, feeling annoyed, feeling hard done by is a perfectly relevant feeling to have at the moment. You have spent years and years of your life gearing up for this and at the last minute it's gone. So you are allowed to feel angry, you are allowed to feel annoyed, you are allowed to feel upset that you're not sitting on GCSE grades, you are allowed to feel that it is unfair. But I do honestly believe that the government has done the best thing. I mean, I didn't expect them to cancel it. I never expected them to cancel it. I expected them to shift them to September and they've kind of like half done that. Um, but we are in the grips of a global pandemic that is killing thousands of people. And by doing this, the government is preventing the spread of the virus um, and saving lives. So it is okay to feel that this is unfair, but please remember that they are doing this to save lives. Um, I, when I'm not teaching a five-year-old what a fraction is, um, I'm going to be here with you the whole way, mainly because I don't have anywhere else to go. Literally nowhere, because I'm stuck in the house. Um, so I will be around to answer questions. Um, honestly, Twitter is the best place to get hold of me, because I generally have that open most of the time. Um, YouTube comments, I generally sit down and respond to as many as I can in an hour or at the end of the day, which we're just pretty much scrolling constantly, so that's the best place to get a hold of me. Um, yes, so I know a lot of you are going to have questions. I'm going to be live uh, tomorrow morning. Um, I'm literally, I just read the press release, came up and recorded this. I'm trying to get it out as quickly as I can. Um, yeah. We can get through this, guys. We can. We can.